You guys might as well turn around and go home, because I'm feeling it tonight. I'm in a zone. Yeah, twilight. Where's Ron? I don't know. I usually get here around the same time he does. I figured he had to run an errand or something. He'll be here. Sure he's not homesick? Got me. Maybe too sick to work, but never too sick to bowl. Yet another classic Marty Cornack line. Hey, not me. I've never missed a day of work in my life. I'm talking about Ron. I'll give his house a call. If he's not coming, see if Nancy can take his place. Ray, what are you doing here? Hey, I own these lanes. And that's only because you've never bowled against me. Oh, yeah, everybody's a pro. <laughs> hey, come on over to lane three. I'm over there with some friends. Great. Do you know where your daddy is? Who is it, honey? Here, let me talk. Yes? Oh, hi, Nancy. This is Ray. Hey, look, we're down at the bowling lanes, and we were... Ray, I I'm sorry. Ron was in an accident at work. Oh, my God, Nance. Ray, it's happened again. I don't know all the details. He was working the crane. The load fell. He cracked some ribs. Nance, I'm so sorry. I've got to get down to the hospital. I didn't even send anyone to be with him. I'll call you later. All right. And Nance, if there's anything you need... I know, Ray. Thanks. And you take care. And tell Ron we're with him. What, he's not coming? No, he's not coming. He's had a serious accident at the plant. What? Is he all right? No, I don't think he is. He broke some ribs. He may have punctured a lung. What should we do? Nothing. Nancy doesn't want anybody to come down to the hospital. She said she'll call later and let us know what's going on. Okay, Ray, let's see what you're made of. What's wrong? Hi, Robin. We just got some bad news. One of our friends got hurt pretty bad at work today. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Is he going to be okay? I guess. We really don't know. Robin, this is Becky and Marty. Guys, this is Robin. She and I have been working together lately. Hey. Hi. Hi. So, you two work together at Bennings? I work for EBI. Robin's been consulting with me. You know, claims management, accident prevention, that sort of thing. Sounds like they could have used you down where Ronnie works. <laughs> She's got this great program called Zero Accidents. How does that work? Basically, we go into a company and evaluate their work habits. Then we work with them to improve those things with an eye toward total safety. But they have to believe that zero accidents is a realistic goal to set. It has to become their mindset, their culture. That's why it's called zero accident culture. Zero accidents? Yeah, you know, like no accidents. Ron's had five accidents since he started. But zero accidents? I heard of reducing accidents, but... Where I work, everyone's expectation is that we can be accident free. And for more than a year, we have been. Maybe where you work, but I work at a nursing home. You have no idea what we have to go through in a day. Last week, I had to lift a 250-pound patient out of bed and into the bathroom. At least ten times a shift. I'm lucky I can still walk. I know what you're talking about. We insure a lot of nursing homes. Zero accidents really works. Mm, I don't know. Well, we have this one customer with over 200 accident-free workdays. When we first started working with them, we were actually surprised that they weren't having accidents every day. Things like what you were trying to do with your one patient, trying to move someone almost twice your size without any kind of help. Hey, in a perfect world. It's their world now. We've done it for a lot of our customers. Well, it's a lot like what you're doing for us. We work in teams a lot more. We just work safer. Right. It's the same at the nursing homes. We have them using mechanical lifts throughout this one facility. They now have a daily stretching program for everyone that works there. Not only are these workers not getting hurt, they're committed to the organization. Morale is up, productivity is up. I think it sounds great. Honest, I do. But it sounds expensive, too. Not at all. I guarantee you that your company spends more on workers' comp than it would cost them to do what it takes to prevent accidents. I like to think that our company took on the program 
not just to save money, but to protect their employees from injury. <laughs> Too bad Ronnie's company doesn't think that way. Nobody wants to see someone else get hurt. At Bennings, we asked the owner of the company if he would like to see his son or daughter working in the press room. I bet that made him think. <laughs> oh, yeah. That gives it a whole lot of perspective. I've always believed that a program like Zero Accidents can only work if the concern for the employee is genuine. If it's just about money, it won't work. Right. It has to be a commitment from the highest executive down to the employee that does the nitty-gritty work. It has to be real. I agree. You know if it's a gimmick program, just like you know if it's real. Gimmicks don't save lives. They don't prevent accidents. They don't save money. Only real commitment to the employees in the workplace does. That's what Zero Accident Culture is all about. Not long after we partnered up with Robin, we started to see results. We used to have a guy hurt on a press break almost every month. And you guys know Buddy lost two fingers, what, about five years ago. Uh, but then EBI came in, and working closely with us, and with our safety people and our supervisors and all, we started working a different way. I think that we were focused on increasing productivity for so long and that we forgot how to work safely. And what we found was that working safely was the productive way to work because you're on the job. You're not at the hospital or at home lying around in pain. Too bad we didn't bump into you a few weeks ago. Maybe if Ron had heard about this earlier, he could have prevented his accident. Hey, he'll be back here before you know it. Not much can keep Ron away from the lanes. <laughs> I don't think we're in the mood to bowl tonight. Hey, uh, why don't we give the hospital a call? Maybe they know something about Ronnie. Good idea. I'm glad we got a chance to talk. Maybe we can see each other again sometime. Every day, thousands of people go home to their families, friends, and bowling partners free of accidents, free of injury. At EBI, this is what we want for you, for your family, and for your company. It's why we've developed the Zero Accident Culture. And it's why we've created this film. Accidents are preventable. They need to be looked upon as an unacceptable occurrence in the American workplace. Remember, if you're not planning to prevent accidents, you're planning to have them. The EBI Zero Accident Culture. Put it to work for your company. These companies already have.